Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm a V-King here with another awesome project idea. Uh, so today I made a little discovery on how this high frequency plasma can react with water. Uh, my brain came up with this little random idea to put water inside of a rubber tube and plug one end of the tube so the water stays compress in the tube and if I want to I can stick a wire in the water and it will draw electricity out of there but what I'm really wanting to try to do is uh, wrap the tube with wire fine wire um, I think I'll using this 0.1 gauge wire here 0.1 millimeter because uh, this isn't even grounded right now. The plasma just naturally wants to connect to the water. And I'm guessing the diameter of the tube and the water is probably creating a super conductive effect. There's no salt in this water either. So I'm also curious as to how salt water could potentially react with it. Uh, it might amplify the current. I'm not really sure. Uh, it could create a lot of hydrogen and not be effective at all. So we're going to keep tinkering around with it but this is my new update because it's really hard to bend thick wire around these plasma balls without breaking the glass so this is the most efficient idea that I can think of unless somebody's got a machine that can make it easy for me to use copper wire but water is the new idea of the day so let me know what you think uh, I stuck a wire in the one end of the tube here and it pulled 94 volts at 13 milliamps. So I thought that was very darn efficient. I just used this wire right here. I just stuck it in the voltmeter and it showed up 94 volts at, yeah, it was at like 13, 14 milliamps. So I thought that was pretty, pretty dang effective, especially since it's rubber that's the connection, the, the connector here, you'd think it's, it'd block a lot more power, but maybe the frequency is traveling around the rubber because of the skin effect, and it's going inside, and it could be uh, electrifying the water from the outside in, because this high frequency alternating current is very smart, and it wants to power anything it can magnetically. It's always trying to ground itself, so that's my theory on that. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know how uh, my next idea goes here. Let me know what you think, and uh, oh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you thought this was a very cool idea. And you know, if you want to try it for yourself, go ahead. I mean, we need more creativity in this world as it is. So, peace out, guys.